Hi there, it's Sam from Pootles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for joining me in Springwatch. Springwatch is 14 video projects coming out to you back to back for 14 days. And it's focusing on the spring catalogue and the celebration one as well. And every day um, over the 14 days, I have a special giveaway going on. And today's giveaway is to win this stamp set here, beautiful stamp set called Swan Lake. Two ways to enter, you can leave a comment on my blog or you can leave a comment here on YouTube. There's no purchase necessary. Or you can place an order. If you leave a comment, you get one name, one drawing into the hat. If you place an order, you get five drawings. And I take maybe about 10 orders a day. I can send this stamp set only to people in the UK, the Netherlands, Germany, France and Austria um, because of my demonstrator agreement. However, if you're in one of the other countries and you want to leave me a comment and enter to win and I pick you, then I will send you a bundle of my handmade goodies that I've already made as well. So please feel free to leave a comment anyway, regardless of where you are. This is the stamp set we're using. Beautiful Swan Lake. Fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. Watercolouring is what we're going to do. No irony lost on me. Swans on water, watercolouring. Let's go for it. And this is my card and my swan is beautifully shimmery. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see her? She's so gorgeous. She's got a wink of stellar body. So very, very easy. This is one of those easy cards to do. Now, I'm not a big fan of making cards that take me forever, but I like a quick card, but it actually it was quite rhythmic to do the colouring in on there. And I do like to do a tenfold card that goes like that. So I've taken a piece of cardstock, cut it in half and scored it in half. Doesn't matter whether you're eight and a half by 11 or international A4, cut your piece of cardstock in half in either direction and fold it in half. And then your white panel, if you work in metric, half a centimetre shorter and narrower. And if you work in imperial, quarter of an inch shorter and narrower. And that will give you a perfectly bordered panel which you can see, let me get the shadow out of the way. There you go. Perfect border all the way round. Okay, right, so Swan Lake. Swan Lake is a rubber stamp set, so um, you need to get your stamp and my jig out if you are not very good or you're not confident at placement. I'm relatively good, but I am gonna bring it out for my swan and oh, all that stuff I've got all over that. Okay. Okay, so I'm lining my block up. Let me see if I can get my head over the top without head butting the camera. I'm using my grid paper to line it up and I'm getting that beautiful floral panel on there. I've got my Memento ink. Some, what am I knocking that's making something rattle? I don't know. Something on my desk is rattly. Okay, so I'm gonna use my white, um, put my white, Whisper white cardstock up against my grid paper, and then I'm going to be brave. Yay! That's pretty good. Right, Memento Ink doesn't mind stamping scrub. And, oh, yes! I already had the lid off. Um, so I'm cleaning up over on the right hand side. Just the reason, apart from the fact that I'm a bit obsessive about putting stuff away, is. Um, because I don't want to stick my hand on it and get memento all over my hand. Okay, now I've got my stamp and my jig because I want to make sure that my bulrushes and well lilies, I think they are, are lined up correctly. So I've got my lilies. Let's grab a block. Doesn't matter where you place it. Let's just put it off at a really wibbly angle just to demonstrate. You take your stamp and magic, you come, it comes as two parts. This is a T-shape and it doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. And the imaging sheet, you butt that bit up, that corner into this corner here. Ink up. Something's definitely rattling, I can't work out what it is. And then you take this and sort of hover it into the corner and then drop it down. And this I now use, because you can see through it, to determine, oh I did use different ones, exactly where I want it to be. So that's where I want it to be. Um, yeah, so I did go with bulrushes, oh well. And then you take your your tea, tea bar, butt it into place. See, this is the wibbly angle I went at. It's gonna look like it's not gonna work, but it will. Perfect alignment, love it. Okay, let's get rid of that one. Let's bring in the swan, who is so beautiful. And I'm gonna use another corner of this. And cut my 
this one. And now when I come and put this on, and cut this one again. And once you've done this, you can you could make 30 cards with this in you know on the one imaging sheet. Love her. And then finally, is this the wording I want? You have a kind and caring heart. It is on the size block. That will do it from there. And then let's grab another corner and then I'll show you. This cleans up dead easy. Because it's quite tight, that's why I'm using the stamp and like this time. So I'm going to put my hands in on that swan in a minute and get myself covered in ink. Oh no! Oh, I don't know what I did then. I obviously slipped it. Oh, I'll fix it somehow. How can I fix that? Don't know. Right, I will though. Um, I've lost the lid. How can I fix that? Well, I quickly clean these up. Hmm. Hmm. I know. Oh, and this is how you clean it up. So you've got your stamping scrub. And you just go like that. And then you clean it up over there pick up a little bit of staining but that's pretty clean to me right okay you have a kind and caring heart how can I fix this I need um, I need my decorative label punch and I need a scrap of whisper white I will do it this way I don't know how I managed to mess that up obviously wibbled very slightly <laughs> I've even stamped that upside down And I need a post-it note now, which, do I have one handy? I'll pinch this one. I'll talk about a fix on the fly. I wanted to go that way round, don't I? go over there and you'd never know right <laughs> we all make mistakes this is how you fix them okay I need to put that back over there though because I'm using that later for filming right let's get these away otherwise I really will cover myself in ink um, and I want to just grab my two dragonflies and then I'm going to show you so easy it really is ridiculously easy how to do the watercolouring. I I used to be that girl who never went outside the lines and I used to be there colouring and I'd be, you know, all but using magnifying glass to get lined up. Now, not so much. So my watercolour pencils, what colour shall we go with? We'll have big pink flower here. So let me zoom in for you. Have a big, big, big pink flower. And let's just scribble a bit and we'll have rose red over here. I'm not even vaguely going inside the lines. I'm going so far out the lines, it's scary. It's okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not even getting close to the edge. My little bulrushes we'll have. I liked my Bermuda Bay uh, dragonflies. And what other colours we'll have? Old olive on there. So not even inside the lines, not even nearly inside the lines. See, so you thought it was going to be a card that took forever to make and colour in. 
not so much me. Need a green lily pad, don't I? An orange beak. Right, then you get your blender pen. Where's my blender pen? And you just that is clean. And you just start working it around. How quick was that? And I'm scribbling off. I hope you can see that. I'll move it off to one side in a second. Um, and with your blender pen to clean it, you just scribble it off and it comes back clean. Just checking I'm still on camera. Nothing worse than making a card and not being nearly on camera. So it's just moving that colour around and it's so quick so simple. My boys love doing this. They're big on colouring in um, and they love to do that but my youngest boy Oliver is he's very particular and he does not like to go outside the lines um, at all. Really doesn't like it at all. So for him this is really good. And obviously you know part and parcel of colouring is, is going outside the lines but Yep, still on camera. And it loves, gives it a lovely softened look as well anyway. And I'm just going to take a little bit of Bermuda Bay under my swan and under these lilies and bulrushes and then Oh, that one wasn't on camera. Oopsie. There we go. Done. Now, just need my wing for Stella. All over her body, which I'm hoping now I'm closer you'll be able to see. Um, and it just sort of sets her off the page. And I appreciate that you might not be able to see it quite as well on camera as I can in real life. And I really hope I can get my photos to do it justice. But um, it really lifts her. She doesn't look like an outline on a page anymore. No, you're not getting it. I'm trying. Right. Let's finish off this card and then cover up the error. Oh. Let's replace the snail. to the front of my card. Final finish to get rid of that. Save it down. Card made. What do you think? I like it. I really like it and it didn't take long at all did it look I, I know it's taken 13 minutes but I'm gonna blame that on having to fix the error and also you know I like the opportunity to just to show you how the stamp and my jig works I love the stamp and my jig it makes stamping so easy love the cards though anyway don't forget leave a comment here or on YouTube to win the Swan Lake stamp set or place an order and I shall speak to you tomorrow and I've got a really cool project thanks ever so much for joining me bye